I have to say that the, the first thing that called my attention is the fact that this was most probably written by a director. And I wasn't wrong. Damien Chazelle wrote this script uh, originally to be him uh, behind the home. I have to say that it inherently was like a love letter to any filmmaker that wants to express himself uh, from the director's chair. Uh, that was the first of all, like, the energy that I had. And, and the second thing was obviously the challenge to, to go through something that, as you said, it doesn't matter how simple the premise is, i never seen something like that before. In cinema history, that you cannot take that lightly as a filmmaker, because the, uh, cinema has always, always been there for barely more than a century, and it seems incredible that nobody has tried to do something like this. Mm. But at the same time, you understand that nobody has ever tried to do something like this, because it's kind of ridiculous, absurd, <laughs> and crazy. So yes, I embraced the challenge and the fact that it was an impossible movie. What you're referencing is actually there were about three or four shots in the film that followed a similar pattern that were the most complicated and incorporated all those things at once. Because oftentimes throughout the, throughout the film, there would be shots that would just be here. So I could just focus on, you know, I could, I'd have to move so that it looked like I was playing the piano, but I could just focus on speaking to John Cusack and, and not have to focus on the music. Or there were shots where I was just focusing on the music. So a lot of the times it was nice and separated. But man, there were like three or four shots where I was listening to him in my ear, having to respond with the proper dialogue, as well as listening to the music and the, the click to be in time and kind of basically note perfect for the piano part. Totally insane, <laughs> but, but wonderful. I mean, that was part of the challenge and one of the elements that I was excited about, you know. Call for help and I will hear it. Get a guard involved. I will know it. If you do any of these things, your wife will die. Play a wrong note, and you will die. I think that it has to do with the fact that um, mainstream movies were, what they were, way more interesting and well crafted 20 years ago than now. That's it. I mean, it's just like the demographics that uh, the corporate uh, industry is aiming for is dumping down and down constantly. So, back in the day, you could see a movie from Hitchcock and. You can read the critics back in, I mean, the reviews back in the day, and even the negative reviews, uh, they, 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 they said that those movies were like childish and stuff. Compared to, I mean, those movies too, the movies we make nowadays, it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's like, the gap is I mean, how we, got, how we got here. More than making a movie for a grown up, I think that, well, we are not 16 years anymore, and we miss that incredible era that we lived. Yeah, I also think that there's a there's a in the fabric of the script itself was a was a love letter to cinema and the language of cinema, and I think that that was your approach too, mm. and I think all of our collective approach. So it's also made for people who love love movies. Mm. That's what it feels like, and it's crazy seeing it because it really does genuinely feel like something that 20 years ago would have been a mainstream film, but those kinds of movies aren't made anymore. You know, so you think of uh, Richard Donner or Joe Dante, people that I've totally. grown up with, and or even um, De Palma from you know, of course De Palma that the 70s wanted and 80s. to seduce people like okay this is it this is like like a mind trick and you're gonna step in and you're gonna be here but you're not gonna be, gonna be there. It's like uh, for some reason we've been losing this kind of uh, uh, dialogue between mm. the you know the misdirector and the audience that wants to be amused. So yes, definitely Grand Piano. I try to put as much love to cinema as I could, and not only making a homage, but uh, trying to add new ingredients, you know, to, to keep it moving forward. Mm. Got your attention? Don't disappoint me, Tom.